In this video, I'll discuss my strategy for using Anki. Anki is a fabulous system for learning large volumes of information. It's used all the time by medical students and for people studying for the MCAT. I used it all the time in my classes and especially for the MCAT in my preparation for medical school. This is part of a series of videos that I'm making on kind of pre-med advice and thoughts. Uh, I was recently admitted to medical school, headed there in the fall. Uh, and so this is one of my strategies um, for the process, specifically again for Anki. Now, in the video, I won't get into too much of how to use Anki in general and how to download it and what it is and that sort of thing. I'm going to assume that you already know that stuff. If you haven't heard of Anki before or, you know, are, are looking into trying to get it or figure out how to use it, there's tons of videos on that. Absolutely go for it. Download it, use it, that sort of thing. This video, though, is for folks who were, like me, struggling a little bit with Anki, trying to keep focused, but having challenges with that, and trying to be efficient. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. This is my strategy for being efficient with Anki. Now, with this approach, uh, what essentially I'm doing is you make it an adversarial system. You make it competitive with yourself. So, how do you do that? Uh, what I do is tracking. The Pomodoro method, famously, allows you to work for some period of time and then take breaks. This sort of has that effect too. That's not specifically the goal, um, but it has that effect too. So what do you do? You're set up to Anki, and what you don't do is just start clicking. Because for me, I click, oh, fine, click, oh, fine, click, and then three cards in, I'm gone. My brain is just somewhere else. And then eventually 20 minutes later, I focus back and I'm like, oh, what is this one? Anyway, so what do you do? You start by drawing a chart in a notebook, like so. Like I said, low budget, right? So a uh, number of cards, right? Total number of cards. Should be a little pound sign. Uh, and maybe you start with, I don't know, 200 cards or so. Fine. That's what you start with. Now, for future, right, you're going to have some, I usually do symbols, but you can write it out if you like. You're going to have some time that you're going to spend going through cards. I usually start with a short time, maybe five minutes, because to get into the process initially takes a minute, right, and to kind of get focused. So you're going to work on these things for five minutes. And then you're going to stop and write down. Now, you're not going to stop and take a whole break. That's not the goal of this. You're just going to stop and write down how far you got. So you'll write down your new numbers. Maybe you now have 100, like 96, right? Maybe you didn't get that far in five minutes. That's really common, especially if you start with a whole bunch of greens and you get them to reds or whatever. Uh, you maybe don't get that far. Totally fine. Now you're going to write down the change, right? You had four. And then here's the key. You're going to write down, you should do a little speed symbol, but whatever. You're going to write down your rate, right? So in this case, four fifths, four per five, or maybe 0.9, whatever you like, you're going to write down your rate in some way. 0.8, Jesus. Anyway, you're going to write down your rate. You might also write down the number of reds, if you like, or whatever else you want to track. Sometimes I like keeping track of reds because in some sessions you'll burn through a bunch of reds and get to it, get done a ton of cards, and in others you transfer greens to reds. So it helps to not feel so bad about yourself whenever you're a session where you just work through a bunch of new cards uh, and turn them all into in review kind of cards. But anyway, you might put in other things here, whatever else you want to track, but this is the real key. And then also you might do some sort of do some sort of celebratory system. So for me, whenever this rate exceeds two, or whatever it is, if you get really efficient, maybe you increase that cutoff, or if you're you know struggling, maybe you decrease the cutoff, I put a star. So this one doesn't get a star, because there's no good. But next time, I don't know, you get to only 100, oh my goodness, oh, in, in maybe 10 minutes. I sometimes will increase that. I don't ever go above 10 minutes, really, um, because you want to keep focused. I find if I go too long, I start to get distracted. So you do that. Um, and then importantly, here's the key. Partly you want to get stars. That's nice. But most importantly, you want to beat that one. 
that's the ticket. Next one, you want to beat that one. For me, I'm a very competitive person in games and stuff. Uh, I try to be less so in life, but whatever. In, in games, I tend to be very competitive, and so I can get very competitive with myself doing this. I record 1.9, and I'm like, come on, I can get to two. Easy, I can get to two, no problem. Let's do it. And then I start clicking, and I'm like, ah, trying to get through, trying to do better. If I'm just sitting there for two hours trying to do Anki without this sort of system, that chance. So also, this gives you kind of a nice record of how far you've gone, right? You get to see, wow, look, over, you know, however many sessions, it feels like I've just been kind of toiling away, but you're like, oh my gosh, you know, this is unlikely to go from 96 to 100, but whatever, maybe here you're at 160 and you're like, hey, not too bad. And then you can kind of project forward. Well, I've been doing five minute sessions. I would expect that this will take me, I don't know, not doing the math, but for example, this will take me maybe two hours or something to finish off the rest of this. That's not too bad. I'm working. Or maybe this is at 180 and you're like, oh my goodness, it's going to take me eight hours to finish this session. I got to speed up, right? Because I've only got four hours or something. You say, I've got to speed up. I got to get these numbers higher and you start really working for it. That's my Anki system in shared in kind of a low budget way. Um, I hope that's useful to you uh, in your in your Anki studying. Good luck. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I wish you the best.